now that I'm not on commission, I can be a bigger advocate for the wider system. Two councillors serving on the Calgary Police Commission step away within eight days. They say now they'll be able to make a bigger impact in creating the change they were working towards when they joined. I no longer believe that they are actually the group that has the ability to solve those problems. When councillor Courtney Walcott joined the Calgary Police Commission, he was passionate about changing policing in our city to make it safer for all citizens, no matter their race, income level or neighbourhood they resided in. But now he says he'll have more time, freedom and ability to do that outside of it. When I was on commission, the only thing I could say is we need more officers, we need more money. What we actually need is better housing supports, better mental health supports, and we need to make sure that people aren't finding themselves in situations that the police need to be called, and everybody needs to know that. But when you're on commission, your actually legislative responsibilities are to the CPS and not to the wider system. On Tuesday afternoon, Ward 9 Councillor Giancarlo Carra joined him, posting a lengthy statement saying he will reluctantly resign as well, both with different reasons, but much to say about work still needing to be done to transform policing through the lens of truth and reconciliation and centered in anti-racism, through things like changes to the Alberta Police Act. Carra steps away amidst an ongoing investigation into a road rage incident in April when an alleged physical and verbal assault took place with the driver, passenger and himself. That's when he was recused of his role on the commission. Carra said this seven months has served the Calgary Police Service well as they've silenced a critic through a variety of important issues from the thin blue line discussions to the four-year budget. You're always speaking as a commissioner. So sometimes you end up saying nothing so that you don't damage the reputation of the commission. And so now I don't have to really worry about that. The police commission told City News in an email it would like to thank the councillors for their work and also agreed with Walcott, adding, while being on the commission provides members with significant influence on policing issues, it does limit the type of public advocacy members can engage in. In Calgary, Taylor Brought, City News.